It's bourbon night. It's drink more bourbon. Cocktails. There we go. Sarah, what we got going on today? Today, we're talking about how to do a build your own old fashioned bar. Right. Uh, we have Derby coming up next week, which is a big deal around here in Kentucky. It's actually the 150th anniversary big deal. of the Derby. So I think a lot of people will probably be celebrating. There is the, obviously the traditional mint julep that everyone loves. Yes. And if you are looking for that traditional mint julep recipe, we have a video that we'll link up here mm -hmm. uh, about how to make one of those. I and also, also you have a blog, Sarah, that will be linked down in the description. But the old fashioned gives you more options of ways to make it your own. Yeah, to customize. You know, I like this idea for derby parties, but just general gatherings general where you're going to yeah. have bourbon drinkers. Mm -hmm. One, it allows you to have some more customization opportunities, allows your guests to play around a little bit. But two, they can do it themselves. And mm -hmm. so it gives you, the host, a chance to get out from behind the bar and mingle with your guests instead of being stuck back there crushing ice and making mint juleps all day. There's going to be four components, three really, but four components to building your own old fashioned. You're going to need your spirit, your whiskey. Mm -hmm. You're going to need a syrup, some sort of sweetener, bitters. Yes. And then a choice of garnish. Okay, so the obvious variation would be easily for the whiskey. It mm -hmm. is going to be whiskey because we're talking about an old fashioned. But uh, what have we brought? We obviously have lots of options, but tons. What are the ones that we brought on the table today? Yeah, we do have a couple of bottled and bond bourbons here. You know, two of these are very value driven. We've got the Evan Williams bonded uh, and the early times bottled and bond. Uh, next would be uh, a rye. So we've got the always nice uh, Knob Creek rye that mm -hmm. doesn't break the bank as well. I do love this Castle and Key rye. It's very pretty for if you're going to put it out on a bar. Plus, it tastes good mm -hmm. and it's going to cut through in a cocktail. Yeah. And then maybe something a little more off the wall. Like for this one, we brought out the New Riff Single Malt. It's going to mm -hmm. have those chocolatey, malty, rich notes, yeah. a little higher proof. So maybe be careful with how many party goers Ooh. are having however many of those. 113.8. All right. What is the second way that we can do some variety? So we can kind of offer some variety in terms of what types of syrups you're offering. You can do a traditional demerara syrup. You can just mm -hmm. use the sugar that's in your kitchen cabinet. But I like to play around with it a little bit. There's a honey syrup there. I uh, love to make those. It's just two to one honey and water. You can do the same thing with maple syrup. Or if you don't want to make a syrup, you can just use honey or mm -hmm. your maple syrup. It's going to be texturally a little different, but yeah. It's gonna taste good. I mean, anything that's sweet, you can really work into your syrups. We do a brown sugar simple syrup sometimes. We have our golden hour simple syrup that we have on our website that already has the bitters built in, so that takes out that yeah. component if you feel like it. But yeah, whatever sweet options speak to you. And then that third variety will be the bitters, which you see we've got a bunch, a bunch. over <laughs> here. Tiki is some of our favorite. We also have the burlesque bitters over here. Mm -hmm. Your traditional uh, Angostura. Angostura. We've got mint, we've got orange, we've We've got the chocolate mm -hmm. bitters and just some off the wall flavors over here that yeah. we've never tried before that we might experiment with today. Mm, who knows? And then for garnish, you know, you have your cherry, you have your lemon, orange peel. You can get fun with it if you have, you know, whatever you're doing for your party mm. and whatever you think is fitting based on the spirits, the syrups, and the bitters that you're offering. Right. But what I would recommend for building your own old fashioned bar is at least three whiskeys, two to three whiskeys, two to three syrups, and two to three bitters. And this is just going to give your guests, you know, the more you offer, the more infinite possibilities for them to play around. Sure. My favorite part is after people build their own old fashions to watch them talk like, hey, Chad, what'd you put in yours? What'd you choose and I, why? I don't remember. You don't remember, uh, but it tastes great. <laughs> Last little tip yeah. is make a little sign that says, you know, your ratios for this so that your guests know and they don't have to keep asking you. So again, it's two ounces of your spirit, a half an ounce of your sweet syrup, and then two to three dashes of bitters. Then they can just go from there. So we're going to build uh, a couple different versions ourselves. We're each going to build one. And for demo. So yeah, for demo and yeah, for in drinking. And for and fun, enjoy. You know, who doesn't so. want one? So even though I listed the ingredients and the ratios in terms of, you know, most ingredient to least, starting with the whiskey, I'm actually going to build in the reverse order. This is something a lot of bartenders do. The reason why is we're going to put our least expensive ingredients in first in case we mess up. Makes uh, sense. Would encourage your guests to do the same. I've been wanting to try this rosemary, grapefruit, and peppercorn bitters. Okay. I think it sounds like a fun springtime, you know, herbal outdoors type of thing. I think it would be fun for a derby party. So okay. I'm going to start with three dashes of that. All right. And because I chose that, I'm going to go ahead and decide on my whiskey. I'm going to do a rye. That's going to help inform me which syrup I'm going to choose. So because right. we're going for spring herbal citrus, I think honey syrup is going to go really well with that. Oh, so I have is. some house made honey syrup here. Get a half an ounce of that. Pour that in. Now, which whiskey? Well, or when I think about these like springtime vibes, it actually makes me think of the Castle and Key distillery grounds itself. So I am going to go with the Castle and Key rye today. I'm going to do two ounces of that. One, two. 
And next I'll add my ice. I'm gonna go grab an ice sphere. Um, don't feel pressured to have ice spheres on hand. That's a lot of work to do as a right. host. Regular ice cubes from your freezer will be fine. Bigger the better though, because they will melt slower mm -hmm. uh, and, and then it won't water it down as quickly. So. Just a tip. Just but... a tip. All right. Got my ice in here now. I give it a little stir to so chill it and get everything mingled together. Right. Now, just so you know, if we were doing this on a smaller scale, not for a party, just for ourselves or more professionally, we would build this in a mixing glass, uh, chill it together, and then strain it over the uh, the ice cube. Mm -hmm. But since we're talking about doing this uh, for a party, your guests are doing it, we want to have less dishes involved. Sure. So that we're just building it here in the glass. Yeah. Just so you know. Yeah. And also, you know, we have our regular wax glasses here. You can get those plastic uh, party cups if that works easier for you. Yeah. You know, whatever's easiest. Speaking yeah. of this particular glass, Sarah, the Drink More Bourbon uh, cocktail glass, you can get it at whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get our rocks glasses, but also our Glen Cairns and our Copita is all of our glassware, t-shirts and hats and hoodies and this elemental elixir uh, <laughs> golden hour cocktail syrup as well. It's all available at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And that is where we release our exclusive barrel picks that you can use for your build your own fashion bar, <laughs> old fashioned bar. Um, you can also get discounts on that merch and more. Yeah, there you go. All right, we'll be right back. All right, now uh, I'm gonna make you wait. I'm gonna garnish this with a lemon peel. I'm gonna try to do this as carefully as possible so as to not <laughs> cut my finger off. Mm -hmm, and you may good. wanna go ahead and have these peeled for your guests, especially if they're uh, drinking. Yeah, I would not have the guests. Might recommend. Doing the peeling, yeah. Just get all my aromatics in there. There you go. Give it a swirl, yeah. and there you have it. Boom, all right, what's the verdict? Oh, I love that. Oh, the bitters with the honey syrup, Ooh, hey. so good. Wow. I mean, I'm not surprised. There, are, You always make amazing old fashions, Thank you. but that, that's a different flavor. That's very spring. It's very spring. The herbal with the citrus Ooh, and the grapefruit bitters dang. and the lemon and the rye is like, whew, that was a good choice. It was a good choice. But now that I've nailed mine, let's see what you can build. Oh, okay. great. So I'm gonna drink this. Oh boy, all right, well. I decided I'm gonna go with traditional bourbon. Uh, I've never made an old fashioned with Ben Holiday. This is the bottled and bond, so this is not the soft winter wheat. So it's got some rye in here. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm not gonna do it yet. Remember what we said? We're gonna build the opposite way. Chad remembers. I'm gonna go with maple. Ooh, okay. Now with the maple, I always kind of err on the lesser side of half an ounce because it is so sweet. I'm gonna stop a little bit before. Pour that in. Plus, you know, some it's always gonna stay in there. Mm -hmm. Sarah, would you want to have like a little washout station for the? You jiggers? may need like a little rinse station, yeah. um, or just have multiple jiggers, or mm -hmm. have someone you know come by every few minutes, every 15, 20 minutes, and check and see if they need a rinse. Mm -hmm. uh, so you've got this maple syrup, which is gonna be really uh, rich and bold. What I'm are you looking, gonna pair with that? Sarah, I'm looking for the black walnut bitters. You got uh, those right there? That is right here. There we go. Okay. I think that Two black walnut's gonna go really well with that maple, kind of like a maple pecan. I know pecan and a walnut aren't the same thing, but sort of that idea. Yeah. Now for the spirit part, right here, the Ben Holiday, two ounces. By the way, speaking of whiskey ambitions, this is actually our branded <laughs> It's Bourbonite uh, jigger right here, which is very cool. All the different markings. Yeah, I love the graded uh, markings yeah. on the inside. It's very helpful. It is. <laughs> for mixology. Little ice sphere action right here. Boop. It's your ice, so you can touch it. You can touch it. Uh, you know. You'll probably you want tongs, tongs or a scoop for yeah. for yours at your party, but give it a good good old stir. Good old stir. Again, if you want to use that maple syrup and just kind of maple syrup's kind of expensive, so I would recommend diluting it two to one, uh, two parts maple syrup with one part water, and just going ahead and putting it in like a little. Uh, container that they can pour directly from at your bar. Oh, you're going with the cherry. Going with the cherry. I like that. I think that'll complement the maple and the black walnut very yeah. well. Get just a little bit of that juice in there mm -hmm. too. Now, you know I don't eat cherries, so you're welcome to have it after I drink. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> my old fashioned, but here we go. Mm. Hey, cheers. Cheers. Oh, completely different aisles. May I? Here, yeah. I mean, look, of look at the color. <laughs> like, the color. Just look at the color difference between them. Wow. It's hey. a fun way to express your personal taste, I think. I, I, I'm proud of myself. Like? Yeah, okay, let's see. I think I did a good job. Completely different than that one. I love it. <laughs> All right. 
Oh wow, that is so good. And yeah, this one's definitely more bold, rich, in your face, but it coats their mouth really well. A little mm. more desserty. Yeah. Whereas this is a little bit more, mine's a little more refreshing, spring, light and bright. Yeah. But both are great. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm gonna be doing now on for my gatherings, is yeah. doing a build your own old fashioned bar. And, and you know something, Sarah, I just thought maybe that you could also do is have some of those, you know, small plastic little shot glass type things. If you wanna, you know, pour some, like, you know, try mine, see, you know, it, or if people Ooh. have no idea what direction they wanna go and you might wanna, you know, like, oh, this will be more of a bright one. This will be more of a earthy and syrupy one. I mean, I just thought, depending on the size of your group, if you wanted to do something really fun with your guests is if they want to enter their little own- Little contest? Little contest, do their own, you know, get a two, do three, blind? four people who want to want to do them and have them uh, yes. make them, you know, if you have eight, 10 guests, that would be so easy I to just that. do one for each person, have them vote, and then I don't know what the winner gets. That's host, a you thing. But that could be so fun. Wow, okay. <laughs> well, uh, these are excellent. Um, I kind of want to make some more, but we'll do that off camera. Off camera. <laughs> That'll do it for us. If you hadn't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, drink more bourbon. Old fashions. Oh, cocktails. <laughs>